Hello YouTube. I just did a like 12 minute video where I guess it's too long because I'm a loser. Uh, so I was in Indiana all weekend and picked up a bunch of dip. Yeah. Stoker's Wintergreen, which I just raved about for three hours, drunk as shit. And the video's not going to post apparently. Whatever. I'm not putting it there. That's the biggest damn dip I ever took. I'm not putting it on him. This one, oh, you dirty bastard. <clears throat> Told you I was drunk. Spitting in a black mud jug. I know what I got. First, I'll do Stoker's Wintergreen real quick. Um, I'm very impressed with this dip. $2 a can, no floaties. Stick it in. I got a big hog leg in my bottom lip, which I really have good luck with because I got little teeth down there. Okay, what else did I get? I got the Stoker's Wintergreen. You saw that. I got the Stoker's Long Cut Straight. I got Ready Ready Cut Wintergreen. Not very impressed with the Ready Cut thing. I thought I was at first, but flavor-wise it's good. It just all falls apart and there's not enough dip in your mouth, so. Stoker's Mint. Cope straight on sale. I got a lot of good deals. Another Cope straight. It's on sale. I'm going to buy it. My usual. Oh, I'm missing some shit. Oh, yeah. Southern blend. And it's called Long Cut. That came as a two pack with the Ready Cut. All right. Icy board, icy boy dipper. Shout out, give me a shout out. Awesome, funny videos. Um, just so you guys know, two things I love about America: cheap dip, i.e., three dollars instead of twenty. Cheap alcohol. They had a deal on these Smirnoffs. It's a one liter. Why do you Americans have liters? You supposed to be imperial. I got a damn liter. Instead of a 40 ounce, which they don't sell. Makes no sense to me. Alcohol. Let's talk about that. I'm a whiskey drinker. Canadian rye whiskey. I really want to find Jack Daniels rye, but apparently I'm never going to get that. Alright. Alcohol. Do not mix your drinks. Okay? Don't dirty glasses. Don't mix drinks. Whiskey should taste like whiskey, not whiskey and Coke, not Jack and Coke, not whatever the hell you guys are drinking. Vodka. Not vodka and cranberry juice, you fruity bastards. Not vodka and tomato juice. Not vodka and orange juice. Vodka and vodka. No need to dirty a glass. This is my second leader I'm working on. I think this stuff like pop. Anyway. I hope my other video loads so I can just erase this one, but... Anyway, um, my subscribers, I have 23, 24 subscribers, only 17 are showing up. If you guys have your subscriptions set on private, you have to change it so I can see you if you want in the contest, or at least let me know that you subscribed. Um, I'm really impressed with the Stoker's Wintergreen, really impressed. Uh, it's everything it was advertised to be. It's a dollar ninety nine a can, which is a buck cheaper than everything else, even on sale. The skull was three bucks on sale. The coat was three bucks. Um, I got a can of kayak mint in Michigan on my way there because it was a buck nine. I was trying to eat and skull cherry, which they should call that skull medicine because that's what it tasted like. I ate both cans, so my lips are killing me right now. But, uh, yeah. Kayak Mint sucks. Never buy that again. I don't care if it's 18 cents a can. I ain't buying that shit again. Um, the Skull Cherry, I probably would never buy again. I've had Skull Peach and Skull Cherry so far and didn't care for either of them. Um, trying to do, you know, try them all anyway. You never know. I really want the Kayak Grape. I'm working on it. 
I'm also working on Grizzly Wide Cut because I found a place that sells it, but they are sold out. All right, a couple cans for some guys on here and get myself a damn can. Um, that's I need some more alcohol. Shit. I do like. I told you guys in my other videos, I like to drink. So. Smirnoff's pretty good vodka. It was like 10 bucks more for Grey Goose, and I'm thinking, I don't want vodka that doesn't taste like vodka. If I want water, I drink wag water. Wagger. I drink water. Same with whiskey. I mean, I'm a Canadian whiskey guy, so I drink Crown Royal when I'm in America because it's dirt cheap. We make it in the city I live in, but it's cheaper to buy it over there. Uh, I also like the, something called Alberta Premium, which you guys probably don't get over there. Dirt cheap here. Um, I just like the taste of alcohol. I don't know why people mix it. Anyway, this ain't a drinking video. This is a dipping video. If you subscribe to my damn channel and you got your subscribers on private, I can't add you to the contest. I got 17 guys in the contest right now. Now, I haven't figured out how to tell who subscribed first, so I've been doing it in packs. I'm too drunk to find the book. I got 17 guys right now. I got 20 some subscribers. When I hit 50 subscribers, no matter how many people I can see, that's when I'm going to do the contest. So, if those guys don't tell me who they are, you guys, the 40 subscribers I actually see are going to have a better chance of winning the mud jug. I'll quickly talk because I'm at six and a half minutes here, so I'm going to run out of time. But quickly talk about why a mud jug instead of a bud. Look, I work in an auto factory. I make the engines. Well, it used to be the engines for the F-150s. They're not no more. They're for different things now. But buying American is a huge thing. This, this is made in America. If Mudjug wanted to save money, he could make it in China, but he doesn't. Why? Because this means jobs for Americans. I'm Canadian. Yes, I am. But North America, Canada, we're your biggest trade partner. Don't don't listen about this Iraq war shit. I was supposed to have gas. You know who sends you guys most of your oil? Canada. We send you most of your oil. Now, I pay a lot of taxes on dip, so I buy it in the States when I can. But let me tell you this. I do like free health care. I know you guys are not probably big fans for most of the people on this channel. Most dippers are, you know. Probably not Obama fans. The problem Obama did was he went half ass with the free health care. It's an all or nothing thing. You either do it or you don't. We can discuss that in another video. This video is about dip. My goodness. I had this thing for a half hour. It's still spitting blood. Alright, listen. If you subscribed and you're on private, let me know. If not, your ass out. Stoker's Winter Green may be my new favorite dip. I got about 18 tips to try over the next two weeks. I'll have a lot of videos up. Good luck to everybody that subscribed and is in the video. I hope my other one uploads. If not, I don't care. Because I'm drunk as shit. And I don't give up. I don't give a fuck. I might be able to get to sleep this evening. I work steady midnight, so... It's not like only 10.30. I'll get up for another 8 hours. Drink the rest of that bottle and go to bed. Subscribe. Like. Whatever. Good luck for everybody. Keep dipping. Keep spitting. Spitting has definitely changed my life. It's silly as shit. But I don't smoke cigars no more. My wife don't say, why does the car stink? Why does the house stink? She does say, why the hell are you dipping? I never realized you were going to dip, but she likes it better than cigars, so I hope everything works out. I'm going to go ahead and get more drunk, take a few more dips of all the different dips. They're not going to be fresh cracked cans, so I'm going to try everything tonight. Peace out.